am going to be doing a declutter style video and we're going to be going through all of my lip products and I haven't done lip products in a while. I do very frequently go through my stuff and get rid of things that are bad, I'm not using, or that I just don't like. Because if it's something I'm not using or something that I don't like, I would rather it find a new home with somebody that will love it or like it and use it instead of just throwing it in the trash. So anyway, I have a lot of lip products. I am definitely a lip product junkie. I have this whole entire thing. And then this too has all my lip, some lip glosses and lip balms in it as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. We're going to start with lip balms first, and I definitely have a top three favorites when it comes to lip balm. And the first one is for sure the EOS balms. I love these. I have four of them here. I've got one more in my bathroom. These are definitely staying. And this one is Sweet Mint. This one has been my favorite, and it's almost completely gone. I believe this is Sweet Mint. I don't remember. My next two, or my next favorite, is probably these Nivea lip balms. I have a Kiss of Smoothness and a Kiss of Mint and Minerals. This Mint and Minerals one, I think, is my favorite right now out of these. And then I've got a backup Kiss of Smoothness and a Kiss of Milk and Honey as well. I'm not too wild about this one, but I still like these. And then my third favorite lip balm has to be these little Vaseline pots. First of all, how cute are these? And I have the Rosy Lips one and the Creme Brulee one. This Creme Brulee one they bring out around the holidays. I just saw it in Walmart again the other day when I was in there, but I got this one last year. I also have the cocoa butter one in my car. So these are just fabulous. Um, I have a CO Bigelow lemon lip balm that I got from Bath and Body Works. And I think I left this outside, like it fell out of my pocket and it's just, it's just like mangled to pieces and something weird happened to it when it got left outside. So it's just going in the trash. I have this candy cane chapstick and I actually have three more of these in an unopened pack. And this one has been open for at least a year and a half now, I wanna say. So that one's just gonna go in the trash. I have two of these Napoleon Purtis lip balms with benefits. This one is in the shade Baja and it's just a red. And then I have an orange one in the shade Capri. Um, these are not incredibly pigmented. They just give like kind of like that popsicle look to your lips. And they're actually decently comfortable to wear. They're not my favorite. Now, my favorite high-end lip balms are for sure these Kors lip butters. And this one is in Jasmine. And I have used almost the entire pot. Like that is a very thin layer on the bottom. And this has lasted me for a really long time. I use this all the time and I'm actually going to put it in my little Hello Kitty bag that I keep in my purse. Speaking of Hello Kitty, when I was in Target the other day, I saw this little cube from Soft Lips and these are called the cube, I guess. And they're very similar to the EOS balms, except they're in a cube. And this one had Hello Kitty on it and she's like my favorite of anything. So I got this one. This is in the scent or flavor Smart Apple and it really does smell very strongly of apple, kind of like a sweet, fresh apple scent. But it does have kind of a minty feel on the lips. So if you're not wild about that, I probably wouldn't recommend purchasing this. I mean, it's not super minty, but it's just kind of a minty feeling. Um, then I have this Yes 2 brand. This is the Yes 2 Grapefruit Lip Balm. This is one of those things that I thought I really liked. And then I kind of felt like it wasn't really doing anything to my lips. Like it would prevent me from like licking my lips or doing something like that or biting my lips when they were chapped. But it really didn't seem like it did anything else. So that one is leaving as well. So I have two more balms left. And the first one is from Lush. This is Honey Trap. It is a vanilla and honey lip balm and it's quite a thick balm if you have ever used any of Lush's lip balms. I like to kind of dig this one out with my fingernail, that's why it looks kind of weird, and then spread it on my lips because I feel like I get the amount of product that I want using it that way. 
This other one I have is not really a lip balm per se. It's the Rose Solve from C.O. Bijlo, which is a brand Bath & Body Works sells. And it's just this pink solve, and I've used quite a bit of this. Um, you can use this on your face, your lips, your knees, your elbows, your cuticles. You can pretty much use this all over the body to just kind of put some moisture back into the skin. So that one's not leaving either because it's very, very multi-purpose. Because I only have like four, maybe five lip liners, they're just going to stay over there in their home. They're colors that go with pretty much every lipstick I own and I have no intention of getting rid of any of them, so I'm not even going to talk about them. Now, I am realizing that this video is probably going to have to be broken into at least two parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go through by brand, so every brand kind of is grouped together. And first we're going to start with NYX, and I have far too many butter glosses, in my opinion. But I love all of these. These are so great. I have colors for fall. I have colors for spring, summer. I just love these. And a lot of these that I do have are everyday colors. And the NYX Butter Glosses are my favorite. I love them. I will continue to repurchase multiple of these. And, you know, but first, when I say the NYX Butter Glosses are my favorite, I'm talking about the original formula NYX Butter Glosses. Not this evil stepchild here. This is the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, and really, I haven't used these very much. I only have two of them. I wasn't the biggest fan the first time I used either one of these colors. Maybe it's just the color. Maybe I need to use a lip liner with them. So I only have two. I have the shade Toasted Marshmallow, which is kind of a mauve purpley brown shade. Very pretty color, great for fall. And then I have Chocolate Crepe, which is more of a brown mauve shade. So that one there. And maybe I just put too much on, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give these another shot, um, possibly in the next couple of days and make a verdict on those. But going back to the original NYX Butter Glosses, I have Angel Food Cake, which is one of my all-time favorites. I have Sugar Cookie, which is a great spring-summer color. Another great spring-summer color is Peach Cobbler, this very bright orange. I have Eclair, Vanilla Cream Pie, Creme Brulee. Um, this is Red Velvet. This one is Madeline. This one is Raspberry Tart, and this one is Peaches and Cream. Did I already say that? No, I said Peach Cobbler. I love all of these. None of these are leaving, and many of these are probably going in my purse, like the nudie brown ones. Yeah, in my purse. Then I have three of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, and I have an obsession with this one. This is called San Paolo, and it's a very pretty pinky nude color. It's almost like a more pigmented version of my lip color. When it dries down, it's picking up very pink on camera, but it definitely has a decent amount of brown in it. I also have the color Istanbul, which I believe I purchased because of Kathleen Lights, I want to say, and that is it there. These dry down matte. They're not the most comfortable um, to wear when they're completely dried down matte, but they're, they're very long lasting. They're kind of like a liquid lipstick. And then I have the shade Transylvania, which is a very dark burgundy eggplant color. My last two NYX products are lipsticks. These are two of their high voltage lipsticks. I have Stone, which is um, it reminds me of Lime Crime's Cashmere in color, and I won't even attempt to purchase from Lime Crime again because of all of that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. And then I have the shade Tan Jureen. There is a hyphen in between there. I haven't used this one yet. I meant to, but it kind of got lost in my collection. But I love NYX, so I'm going to keep 
all of my NYX products. So I completely take back what I just said. This is another, this is my last NYX products. This is one of the NYX butter lipsticks and this is in the shade Hunk. I hate this. I don't like this. I never wear this. I don't know how I ended up with another one. I'm pretty sure I got rid of this. I am not a fan of this at all. So it's leaving. Then before I break this off and start making part two of this video, we're gonna do Revlon because I have a decent amount of these. Um, the first, I have two different shades of the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. These were really, really popular for a decent amount of time. And I only kept two colors out of the ones that I have. One I love so much, I have two, uh, because they were on clearance for like half price. And this is the shade Gumdrop. It's a lavender purple shade, and it reminds me of the Nicki Minaj MAC lipstick, Nicki 2. It is much more sheer and feels much more like a lip balm than a lipstick, but it's a very pretty color. And then we have Red Velvet, which is more of a darker red shade. And, you know, I have a lot of red lipsticks, and I don't really reach for this one very often anymore. So I'm going to pass that one on. Then I have one Revlon lip gloss, and this is in the shade Orchid. And it's very, like, a very pale lavender. And it's got a decent amount of glitter in it. And it's not completely opaque but it's not completely sheer either. It actually gives a decent amount of color to the lips. This is one of my favorite lip glosses. It's going in my purse. Um, this I am really just gonna get rid of. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Pink Sugar. This was my first Revlon lipstick and this is still the same tube. I used this a lot for a really long time. I'm probably gonna go purchase a new one of these it's this very sheer, sheer, sheer nude lipstick with some silver glitter in it. I've just had this one for too long now, so it's gonna go. Then I have two of the super lustrous lipsticks. I've got Black Cherry, which is a very pretty color. That's Black Cherry, and then I've got Vava Va Violet, which again is a very pretty color, and the Revlon super lustrous lipsticks are some of my favorite drugstore lipstick formulas ever. Then before I make this video incredibly long, I have some randoms that I want to talk about. These two are from L'Oreal and I'm getting rid of both of these. This is a lip gloss in the shade Stubborn Plum. It's a quite sheer lavender purple shade. I never wear that, ever. Um, and then this is a lip gloss that goes very well with that lip gloss, or a lipstick it goes very well with that lip gloss, and this is in the shade Violet Chiffon. This is from their Color Riche range, and it's much more pink. This is much more peach. Maybe it's just because it's so sheer, but I never wear either one of these, even though purple's my favorite color. And this lipstick shade is probably my favorite shade for summer now. This is one of the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks in the shade Craving Coral. And that is it there. These are some of the most comfortable matte lipsticks I have ever worn. They're not incredibly drying either. And I really, really enjoy them. I just have one, but I really enjoy it. Then I have this Wet n Wild lipsticks, lipstick in 918D Cherry Bomb. And it is this very dark burgundy color. It's kind of a red burgundy, but I am going to go ahead and pass this one on because I'm not wild about this formula. I'm just not. I don't really enjoy that formula. Um, then I have this Milani gloss in Nude Touch, and I don't know about this. Um, I've used it once or twice. It's a very glittery, sheer gloss, and as you can see, it's very glossy, but it's also very sticky, and I am not all about that life. Like, I am not a sticky lip gloss person. Um, it can be a little bit sticky, but this is incredibly sticky. So, I don't know. I think I am going to keep this because I love to top matte lipsticks with this, especially when I want gloss and not matte, but I want that color kind of a thing. So, I guess this one will stay. And then, 
Stay tuned for part two.